Episode 20. Kabu's actually the one to challenge Liko and Roy, because main character privileges. Then he takes off before Roy can even get out the word Rayquaza. So Liko and Roy arrive at the gym and are ushered inside. They're led to Kabu and explain that they're searching for Goth Rayquaza. But before that, training arc. And the gym has a sweet interior, the anime definitely breathes some life into it. And button mashing makes a return. Here we have Liko vs. Roy. The test is Roy has to light the flame on Litwick using Coco's Ember. And Liko has to blow it out with Spriggy's Leafage. Simply, whoever gets them all wins. At first, Liko was dominating and it wasn't looking so good for Team Roy. However, with their victory chant, Roy manages to turn the tides. And actually comes out on top. Acknowledging both their efforts, Kabu offers a tag battle. And he's pretty merciless in his attacks. He's able to take them down separately, and he has an immediate answer to their combination attack. His Senta Scorch is pretty much indestructible as it knocks them down. Though Roy's cheer is pretty much Lugia's song the way it revives Coco. And it even learns Flamethrower. It doesn't work, but it learned it. Then Kabu leaves Liko to the gym trainer. But unlike Roy, she actually manages to get a good hit in. But then she throws in the towel! It sort of seemed like her heart wasn't really in it, and I guess she decided she needs more training. And this decision upsets both her opponent and her kitty. It seemed like the gym trainer felt that Liko wasn't taking their match seriously, and was disappointed by that. But they're able to make up after Kabu talks some sense into her. Before revealing where he last saw Rayquaza, despite the fact that both Liko and Roy lost. So the crew has their next destination in sight. Ending with Liko taking some time to mull over Kabu's words. As she looks to the night sky, pondering what it is that she's missing. I like this episode a lot, but it persists in the problem that I think Roy is upstaging Liko too much. It's unbalanced. Like, I don't think she needed to lose here, technically twice, and the tag battle felt less like that, and more like two separate battles happening on the same field, with Roy getting the much more impressive one. It's also interesting that despite their loss, they still got the information they needed anyways, so it becomes a bit like, well, what was the point? But I really did enjoy how they made Kabu seem like this very skilled trainer and mentor, and I am really excited to see how Liko pivots from here. All in all, I'd say, this gets a B.